Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Resident Evil 4 VR Overview. Oh boy, we have a release today. I'm pretty sure this is the biggest and well-known title that's like arriving to the Quest 2 specifically, but in the whole history of this headset. There's a lot to cover, so let's just get into it. So Resident Evil 4 is a legendary action horror game, now straight up ported to the virtual reality. Obviously a little bit modified in terms of mechanics, features, apparently even storyline or some censorship. I'm not even sure. I've actually never played any game from that universe, so this is gonna be pretty much my first real attempt to get into the series. By that regard, I don't even think that my initial opinions about the game itself will even matter because I'm basically a newbie to it. So for the most part, I'm gonna be looking at all the control schemes, mechanics, just things that will run this game. Now, I've heard some things already, like flat screen transitions to the cutscenes or not being able to physically climb ladders. Obviously, it's like a pancake port to the VR. So there's gonna be some things that will be forgiven because it was not made for this technology initially. What I'm mostly looking forward to it is just just being comfortable playing it. If we were talking about the locomotion, holsters, immersion that you're actually in the game, like I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy the storyline and just the horror aspect of it if I can even endure it. So that's gonna be a personal challenge to me, but this release is so big and so important for Quest that there's no way that I can skip it. It's basically my duty to do the whole playthrough of it. And whatever will happen or how spooky it's gonna be, we'll make it work no matter what. Enough chit chat, let's start the Resident Evil journey. <laughs> oh wow Now that's the intro Holy shit the graphics are not bad at all They really did a great job revamping the textures I fully expected like PS1 or just even worse But hell yeah Evil do we go into the settings already? We have an hour as well. Oh, that's very handy. Combat style, run and gun. Allows for moving and strafing while combat. Well, obviously. Laser sight off for all weapons. All right. I wonder if that's gonna be like too easy though. FPS is smooth locomotion. All right. Action transitions. In the original Resident Evil 4, Leon performed most action movements from a third person perspective. This includes things like climbing landers and jumping over fences. Many of these actions have now been right to work for a first person perspective. Player remains in first person. Obviously. Obviously. I don't think I've seen so many options ever in VR though. Like you really can customize your experience, which I'm very happy about. I guess it's good with normal. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. I'm very glad there's backstory because I have no idea about the storyline. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. What the hell? <laughs> I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets me short in the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. Mm. Right? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some <laughs> Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe did. <laughs> oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. I already like him. It 
It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the President's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the President's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Uh-uh. Ah, it's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. <laughs> ah, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Okay, no jump scare. <laughs> Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Oh, no, no, no. Come with me. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Fuck you. <laughs> Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Oh, shit. Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Oh my god, <laughs> there are two types of weapons, immersive and quick select, right. In immersive both weapons are attached to your body. Yeah, holsters, that's what I want. Oh wow, this is a long knife, it's like a sword, alright. First aid spray. Wristwatch which displays your current health, ammo, and other useful information. Yeah, let's go with that. Quick select. This mod uses the action wheel to damage equipment. Left trigger. No, I really want the holsters. Immersive. Oh, what the hell? Hey, I didn't choose the vignette. <laughs> oh, what the hell? We have inventory. <laughs> we'll return to it, but what the hell? Okay, we Gucci. Oh. <laughs> Can you just... Huh. Forget your makeup or something? You... <laughs> Wait, we can reload? Oh, it's manual reloading as well. Hey! <laughs> well, this is not that bad, actually. Like, I thought it's gonna be way worse. Hello? Oh my god! I don't know uh, about this me. transition. Sir. Oh, we can do that, okay. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Kikadaku 
estás haciendo aquí? ¡Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Uh -uh. Freeze! Is it freeze? It is not stopping. I reload it already. I don't like the transitions. There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize it. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Oh, they don't look very friendly. <laughs> yeah, those lobsters. Ah. <laughs> How can I store things? Okay, like that, I guess. Let's just. <laughs> Alright, I mean, sure. Why do I stop? What the. Why did I stop while I hit things? I want to just hit and run, but like backing out doesn't really work good. That's so weird. See, like I stop. Is it something to do with run and gun? I was for moving and strafing while in combat. Well, you don't really strafe. How about classic Leon? Are you completely stopped? No. I would love to have like a full range of motion, but this is like a no for me. Like I don't feel very comfortable playing like that. What? <laughs> okay. I wonder if we can like shoot and then move. Okay, yeah, with pistol it works. With a knife, we stop. Okay. Well, then a knife is bullshit. I'm not playing with this. <laughs> um, can we help you? <laughs> Please don't jump on me. Well, that doesn't look that suspicious, huh? Oh, because there's a trap in the middle. <laughs> Excuse me? Un forastero! Fuck off. No, 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 don't run on me. <laughs> okay. Smooth reloading, I like that. Okay, the shooting is fine. The melee combat is nothing to be a fan of. <laughs> Picking up things is not smooth either.
do they see you? They don't die from uh, one headshot though. Left arm picking up, right arm handgun. I think that's gonna be a thing. Damn, we have a lot of stuff. So we have split inventory for like treasures. Oh, we have a map as well. Okay, door to Pueblo. Okay, so we're gonna be in the village soon. I guess also when you're going into the inventory, the whole world pauses. So I guess then you have time to just regroup. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. Oh, okay. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> thanks, though. Oh, this is gonna be a party. <laughs> Hello! Okay, well, I guess we're fine for now, right? Oh. I guess not. Wait, I heard from behind. Okay, I guess not. Hey! You throw stuff? Uh, let me try the knife. I mean, it's fine when you don't have ammo or whatever. Like, overall... Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> I wouldn't prefer to fight with that! But I don't have a choice now! Hey! Wait, quick time? <laughs> what? You mad bitch! <laughs> Just give me a minute. Because apparently I'm dying. <laughs> that was interesting transition. <laughs> Move! Because <laughs> the snipe stops me, like, I can't really comfortably play. everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> okay. Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess here. Mm. 
Yes. I said I'm gonna focus on like specifics in terms of just locomotion and just the gameplay itself. I'm not a big fan of it, especially because I'm a very dynamic person in VR. So like I really like high paced action and stuff like that. The whole thing with just swinging and stopping is a complete no from me. Because then I can't really play comfortably and then maneuver through those crazy people. Like I have to just shoot with the gun because that doesn't stop me. I wonder if the devs will like update this game for like the actual run and gun. But that just seems very weird to me. Other than that, I thought it's gonna be way more scary. Like I'm enjoying it in a way that I'm excited about Resident Evil and what's behind the storyline and just the craziness I guess. <laughs> I do really like the whole customization in options like it really can be suitable for your own playstyle. Not necessarily for my playstyle because I have an issue with combat itself but I hope when I will be doing the playthrough this is gonna be like I don't know fixed or just added because it just could be much better. <laughs> as well as the whole cutscene management through the various actions like getting grabbed, rolls, any really quick time event is a little bit immersive break into me. I feel like that should not be very hard to implement like a deflection system because you just shake your hands and then let go. Of course you do like a barrel roll on the ground but like you don't really need to add that to the gameplay. You could do just like classic Saint and Sinners thing when you just push back them and that's it. Or maybe it has to do with a thing that the game has no physics so the developers can't really do anything in terms of the whole gameplay fluidity. Aside from what I mentioned I think the game will be enjoyable to play like it's definitely a little bit different from okay you know how dare you? Call Pida. <laughs> it is a little bit different from the other action games we have, so I just have to get used to it. But I will say, it's definitely not perfect and it's not the best game in the quest history. Like, calm your tits, y'all.